So today we're going to be doing the water and hexane investigation lab where we're going to look at the different properties of water versus hexane. The first procedure is for us to do the rate of evaporation. And so we're going to compare the rate of evaporation of water versus hexane. I'm going to take one drop of each chemical and I'm going to place it on the table at the same time. Okay, one, two, three, there we go. And now we're going to watch and we're going to see which one evaporates first. So water's on the left and hexane is on the right. And you can see that that water drop is just sitting there. The hexane drop completely disappeared, meaning our hexane evaporated first. That up. The next investigation will be the capillary action. We're going to be taking capillary tubes and putting them into the liquids and seeing how they respond to the capillary tube. First, we take the cap off of our dropper bottle and then we place the capillary tube into the liquid. This is water's capillary tube. So as you can see in water's capillary tube, the water filled up to right where my finger is. So it's about mm, like an uh, inch and a half, two inches almost um, filled in this capillary tube. Now, if I try to turn the tube, the water moves just a little bit. You can see it move very, very slowly. Okay, so it does move just a smidge. Now, if I go over to my hexane and I take a capillary tube and I stick it in the hexane and lift it up, the hexane only filled this little suction right here. The water was much larger, the hexane's less. If I turn this one, my hexane, it moves so fast. Gotta watch closely. See? It's fun to play with. Okay, so my hexane moves a lot smoother through this capillary tube, a lot smoother versus the water. When I try to turn the water, it moves a lot, lot slower, much slower. Okay, great. Now the next part is called um, our surface tension. And so for our surface tension, we are going to take pennies and we are going to be putting drops of water on these pennies, okay? Um, so starting with the water, I'm gonna start adding drops. I should put paper towel underneath this, just in case. Okay, so let's start with our water. One drop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, fourteen. See it bouncing. Fifteen. It's a very, very oh. I hit it down. We shall start again. Let's go again, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 16 drops and it falls. Okay, now let's go to hexane. Okay, one, four, five, six, seven seven and it already spills over right here. So 16 for our penny and only seven for our hexane. And as you notice this penny, it much like it had a bigger 
lump on it when I added the water, but our hexane, it kind of just, um, it stayed very low, stayed very low. Okay, great. We have one more experiment to do. The last experiment is called follow the leader. To follow the leader, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this plastic sheet. Okay. I'm going to put it on the table. You can ignore the liquid underneath it. And I'm going to add one drop of water. I'm going to take a toothpick. And I'm going to move it. Now, as you can see, as I'm trying to move the water, the water moves just a little bit, but it comes out in beads. So see how like the droplets of water as I pull, it like creates drops of water on the plastic. Make note of that. As you spread it out, the water will separate, but it stays in little clumps. Now, if we do the same thing to the hexane, Out a little bit. There you go. Okay, so hexane. I add a drop. It's already right there. And when I try to move it, it just spreads out, kind of like spreading out, and now it's gone. It's evaporated already. When you spread out, oh, let's say like frosting on a cupcake, it just spreads smoothly. Or you you paint on um, a canvas and paint with a paintbrush. It spreads out and then it evaporates. So it looks way more globby, the hexane, if I do that here too, do it on a black surface. The hexane, it's way more globby and see how it just, as I spread it out, it evaporates. I spread it out, it evaporates. I spread it out, it evaporates. Okay. So those are the four different ways that we are looking at the differences between water and hexane, and they act different. The reason they act different, it has to do with their structures that you can see on the poster in the front. So what we'll look at next class, why are these structures different and causing these liquids to act differently?